this is the way how you can install how can on your Linux PC for this tutorial I'm using play and Linux you can download it from their official website playandlinux.com press downloads and download which, whichever file you need for your distribution I'm using Ubuntu so I need to download this dev file and install it okay after you install it we need to start it okay play on Linux and start it now press tools manage wine version and install wine 1.5.28 T E R A this version. Make sure that you select a, a x86 architecture. It's a 32 bit wine, 64 bit wine works a bit worse, not a bit quite worse. Okay, press next and make sure that your system is capable of running this game and you're you are running proprietary drivers and not open source drivers and uh, wine 1.7.1 the latest wine for now works as well but it needs a bit more work so I'm gonna stick with the easy installation with one 1.5.28 and it works tiny bit worse than 1.7.1 .1, but the installation is so much easier of this game okay now let's let's close this and press configure now pre press new press next select 32 bit wine and select oh uh, the wine we recently downloaded 1.5.28 TRA. Press next. Now select the name you want to call your virtual drive. I'll call it HW. And press next. While it's creating a virtual drive, let's download how can go to their web page playhawken.com login and press them you will see press download button press download download okay let's save it for desktop on desktop for ease of use and we don't need this browser anymore after the download will be finished okay let's close it great here's the exe file we downloaded great now select HW press install components and find DirectX full setup and press install this will install DirectX on your wine setup Okay. Okay, great. It installed DirectX. Now you should press Wine. Configure Wine. Now press Graphics. Emulate Virtual Desktop and select the resolution you are planning on running this game on I'm trying I will I want to run it in 720p so I'll enter 1020 1280 on 720 and then press automatically capture the mouse in full screen window and apply okay it will make a window of wine desktop otherwise that if you don't enable 
with your desktop it might mess around with your desktop setup it's not hard but if you are a new user it might catch you off guard so let's enable with your desktop okay now press miss whatever no sorry display first press GLSL enabled and the amount of which video memory your PC has my my PC has 1024 megabytes of video memory so I'll select that now select miss whatever and select run an exe file and select the how can install Alexa which we downloaded select it okay next agree I recommend you read it and press install it installed and press play how can finish okay and it will take start downloading how can which takes which will take some time so I'm gonna okay so I'm gonna pause the video and come back after the download is complete oh it takes so long to install oh, shit. it will apply page hopefully today
okay as you can see it's on retrieving many fast step this step might crash and the launcher will not will not be functional the button launcher but it's nothing you just exit uh, this launcher window start it all over again and hopefully the launcher button will be working functional most probably it crashed now but it will say that error yeah. manifest yeah you can see unable to download manifest this how it crashed we just gonna close this okay let's select play on linux okay press general make a new shortcut from the virtual drive okay now select uh, hawkins launcher like that double click on it on now let's keep the name press next that's it let's close it let's close this as well we don't need it anymore okay I press this and press run and it will start the launcher okay hopefully now it will work but it's no guarantee but the real thing is that it already downloaded all the updates so if you want you can run the uh, exe file of the game not the launcher and it will start and uh, if you want want to run wine 1.7.1 you need to first download all the updates with wine 1.5.28 and then create a new shortcut of the actual game change the wine version to 1.7.1 and start with the actual game shortcut okay hopefully it will start now okay this is a good sign as you can see the launcher appear and we're gonna press it and the game will start let's press it Wait. Considering that we are recording the performance is and that bad. Okay, let's log in. tried it and played it online three matches or two I don't remember and this game runs but it has a bit performance problems you can see this game isn't very optimized and in advanced settings you can't even see these shadow options so if you know what you are doing you can change the ini file of this game to disable shadows I'm gonna show you from what place you can disable shadows ok let's press close this let's select our launcher press configure press mistress miskeleneo whatever open virtual directory
go to Hogan and I'll go to I don't remember quietly go to Engine config and select base settings this is the base system settings and from here you can see shadow options and much more options Shed. mm -hmm. shadows dynamic shadows if this is quite demanding on GPU so let's disable it and press and write false here let's have false here as well and etc but you should know what you are doing here you might broke the break this game and press save anyway the game will run and whenever you want to start it, who you want to wish to start this game you can start it from player linux or from this shortcut you don't need this it's, uh, okay from this shortcut or player linux Okay, thank you for watching, hope it was helpful.